What we're working on today is the high voltage intensifier circuit for the Stanley Myers unit. We have our Stanley Myers unit here, we have our high voltage intensifier circuit here, and we have our spark gap so that you can monitor and you can see what's going on in the demonstration. Now we'll start by turning the PWM on. The first control on the PWM sets the pulse width. So as you turn the control clockwise, you'll notice that the spark will get stronger and stronger. Now I need to tell you that this spark is so loud it hurts my ears and I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me very good over the spark. So I'll go ahead and tell you in advance the first two controls set the main pulse width that come from the PWM and power the high voltage intensifier circuit. Now the next two controls are only active when you turn the switch on but the first control will set the pulse width and the second one will set the frequency. So we'll start by turning the PWM on and we'll turn it and we'll start by ro rotating the dial clockwise and you can notice the effects on the spark gap. Oh, I got a bad interrupts the main pulse control by switching it off and on. You can see the difference in the spark gap. Now the next control is the interrupt pulse width control. As you turn the pulse width control clockwise it narrows the pulse width and you'll notice the difference in the spark. Here the spark narrow and then turn it back. The second one sets the frequency, by turning it clockwise you increase the frequency and as we increase the frequency we'll do the, uh, we'll do the pulse width again. Narrow the pulse width. And that's all for the demonstration. We hope you've enjoyed it and we hope you'll check back later for more information and further advances on the Stanley Myers high voltage intensifier circuit.